Good morning, everyone. Uh, another another press release from Southern Cross and, and another extremely hot grade gold intersection from Sunday Creek. So we're very happy today to provide results from two drill holes, um, 42 and 45. These were drilled on the Apollo shoot in a completely different orientation than we'd drilled before, which is a, a very important aspect of drilling out structurally controlled gold um, to demonstrate continuity and scale in three dimensions. And, and for the most part, we've drilled in, in a couple of dimensions, but we we're really missing this third dimension. So it was a, it was a great test and, and it delivered in spades. So hole 45 is the standout hole. We drilled 3.8 metres at 28.9 grams per tonne gold. Uh, and that included 0.3 metres at 362.5 grams gold. And then in the same hole, we also drilled 0.4 metres at 52.4 grams per tonne gold. Uh, these are all between um, 100 to 200 metres down hole, for, so nice and shallow. The other holes still intersected very good gold, uh, 6.3 metres at 4.1 uh, grams per tonne gold. The standout, no doubt, was 45. This result or these results are absolutely significant. So if uh, we, we think about how we've been drilling these shoots, uh, there's multiple shoots on this property. Uh, we've probably got seven or eight different shoots that we've drilled at a, a variety of different scales. And we've been able to follow them from surface right down to 400 metres in, in the longitudinal axis. And that's why I'm pushing my hand up and down like this. In the up and down, uh, or the, the the height of those shoots are fairly well constrained at 30 or 40 metres at a cutoff grade that works. And then the thickness of the, the shoots was uh, was not tested. So we put two holes across the shoot in that orientation and they delivered in spades as over 100 metres from start to finish in, in hole 45 and a, a, a similar um, thickness, 50 to 60 metres in hole 42. But the key point was uh, not only did we demonstrate the width in this orientation of the shoot, but we hit high grade gold, extremely high grade gold around where we would have hoped to see it or predicted to see it. So we are actually seeing high grade gold clustering around high grade gold. Now that's important because you just don't want a little bit of high grade here and here and not being able to put it together. So we've got a cluster now of high grade gold that's outlined in the press release. Uh, so a very, a very good result uh, in, in terms of demonstrating continuity, scale, thickness, and, and uh, predictability of gold. There was a clear gap in our data that we hadn't collected data in this orientation and, and, uh, and we identified that a couple of months ago. We chose to drill where, where we had some strong mineralization in certain orientations um, but was missing, of course, in 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 the cross orientation that I've explained, uh, and and it wasn't too deep. It was all within a hundred to two hundred meters of surface. We drilled two holes as a fan on the one section uh, within and around hole thirty three and other high grade holes um, that we had in that area. I, I think we may have to rename the Sunday Creek uh, the Postman Project because it keeps on delivering. This is the eighteenth drill hole with cumulative 100 gram or more, 100 gram meter or more intersection, which is a very good measure. We've only exploring in the south western part of the property, we're exploring over about a kilometre of strike. We've drilled it down just below 400 metres. We found multiple shoots. Um, two weeks ago, we only put out a, a new discovery uh, around 350 metres away from where this drill release is, is announced. And then that result last week was 2.1 metres at 121.6 grams per tonne. So extremely high grades developing across the property. And not to forget that actually we have an 11 kilometre strike of which we've only explored that one kilometre. That 11 kilometres of strike has old mines that were mined like we have uh, in, in the area in which we're drilling. Those mines extended over a further 10 kilometres, we've got soil sample anomalies, all the right rocks, but not one drill hole has tested that yet. So this system is certainly working, working within the kilometre, and that's where we need to focus at the moment. But there's room for this system to become very large if it continues to develop like it is.
We have two drill rigs turning continuously at, at Sunday Creek. We're seeking more rigs as, uh, as, as we've spoken about. So we've got always holes that are, that are in progress or in the lab. So at the moment, we've got three holes in the lab and two in progress. Uh, we're drilling underneath the Golden Dyke. We're drilling at depth below rising sun and putting some deep holes uh, beneath Gladys and Apollo. So you'll see continuous news flow, as we always talk about, every two, three to four weeks, depending on the batch batching of results, uh, continue to develop from this project. And, and, and you've seen pretty much every second release uh, some spectacular results, I'd say, over the history of the drilling that we put into this project since we dr started drilling in late 2020. So, so there's... Uh, it's continued to deliver and only actually getting better is 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 the the way that we see it internally. We were not impacted by the rains from uh, the recent event here in Victoria. We we're able to keep drilling because we we're drilling on higher ground, uh, so that won't stop the news flow uh, of, of results coming through uh, from now until uh, the rest of the year and and beyond. As we have been doing with all our press releases of recent. We've been trying to explain what is important and why we're excited about each press release, but also going into the third dimension and looking in LeapFrog with all our data to try and give everybody an appreciation of just how this system is developing. So here you can see a plan that we've registered uh, from work that was undertaken by a company called Osmind on this property who drilled a lot of shallow holes and did some very good work. And you can see from here the Christina area right across to this Apollo area uh, with the, the Golden Dyke area here and, and Rising Sun. We focused in and around Apollo. We put new results out here, including that 2.1 metres at 120 grams uh, odd in the last week or so. And, and the next holes are going in under Golden Dyke. We haven't really explored this this trend out through here yet, uh, but there is certainly old mines and and a, and a couple of drill holes from the 60s um, down there at Christina. So about 1.4 kilometres from Christina through to Apollo. And now if we just tip the lid, uh, so to speak, and uh, start looking under the ground, and uh, we can see now that uh, that's, that's what we see um, if we're looking to the north. And we'll just zoom in here a bit. And again, then you can start to see very little work done here out through uh, the Christina area. Golden Dyke mine down to 180 metres. A couple of holes in and around those old old mining areas. But the first holes, which are these holes without any assays on them because we've got no results back, are starting to drill under the old mining areas. Uh, we can see here rising sun. Uh, we're drilling and continuing to find that shoot as we go down, including some spectacular results. This hole here is in progress now. That's hole 50. Uh, when that uh, That's drilling, obviously, to target mineralization at depth here in rising sun. The, uh, the drill holes that we're talking about are over here. So we'll just take a break to refocus in on the Apollo area. So now we've zoomed in onto the Apollo area. You can see the underground workings that went down to 100 metres. These are overlapped on top of each other. Uh, and uh, there, was, uh, there was four different levels at Apollo. You can see our, all our drilling. Uh, and if we put the topography on, you can see some of the old workings, the Gladys area through here, um, going to Apollo and the Apollo shaft out through here. A little bit too much detail, so we'll take that off. Uh, and you can see... Uh, perhaps an alignment of high grade out through here. Uh, this is these. This is the shoot orientation. So we have the got the the dike breccia, east west, a lot of northwest veining, and when that northwest veining intersects that that dike breccia, that forms shoots in the north northeast orientation. So these holes here. This is the surface we draw from surface down through here across the chute. And you can see there's a paucity of any drilling in that orientation. So we're trying to work out the width in that orientation of this nor nor east trending or plunging chute. So if we take a, a slice of that and just filter down the data and then look at the that in cross section, I just have to drag it down. You can start to see the, the drill holes in the plane of the chute that we've got here, 
hole 33, that was 119 metres at 3.9 grams gold equivalent. We're only seeing partial parts of the hole because we've clipped this to a 20 metre width of view, but you can certainly see the continuity of the gold. And the, in we're in the plane or, or cross-sectional plane of these drill holes, 45 and 42. You can see the width of mineralisation uh, from the, the orange to the bottom of this yellow. And likewise, it's even thicker here in the bottom hole. But really, uh, that's probably another shoot that's developing out of the plane slightly. But the key width is through here in, in this part of the shoot. So the shoot's got uh, you know 20 to 40 metres width is what we, we're predicting in, in this orientation. And without these two holes, without this hole here being 45, we really didn't have a knowledge on just how wide it is but because we had a lot of holes in different orientations and just to give you a bit of an idea you can see how they're drilling into different orientations uh, into the page if you like which is always hard when you're just looking at two-dimensional diagrams especially in press releases here is the very high grade uh, 30 centimeters at uh, at 362 point six grams gold and, and you can start to see that this is all within the high grade trend. And we've got other high grades up through the hole. So it's where we wanted to see the high grade is where we're hitting it. Likewise, here in, in 42, uh, we hit that higher grade section in the, where we wanted to also. So great context, showing width, showing the grades where we wanted to see them and giving us morphology of this vein. We previously had what was probably just a 2D rectangle, but now we have a, a cylinder to start putting volumes around. Uh, obviously, we're, we're very excited about the results we put out, especially over the last few weeks, where we're seeing multiple shoots develop across the project. We're testing the, the zones to depth, starting to become more predictable. We're drilling in different orientations and showing continuity of gold. So it's a, for us, it's a real pivot point uh, in the project. A lot of drill holes to come under new areas at Golden Dyke, at Depth, at Rising Sun. And, uh, and you know, it's not, we're not too far away now from taking some larger step outs later this year or early next year to much greater depths to test this system, which is our major strategy at the moment is to demonstrate how big this can get rather than drilling it out for a resource in isolation at the moment. Certainly the strategy is to, to make it much larger and, uh, and, and bring more rigs and, and where we've got a tiger by the tail, we're very excited. Thank you.